Hey everyone, it's time for a new lot. Uh, this time I chose 147 Huckleberry Lane. So this is a kind of a weird house. It has all these sort of different roofs and it just looks so odd. But apparently, uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot to remove the objects. Normally I remove all of the objects and that's my sim starting in the background. I'm so sorry. Oopsie. Anyway, should have timed that a little better. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, I forgot to delete stuff. So you uh, get to see uh, like a half a minute of uh, that glorious thing. Yeah, this roof is just weird because apparently there are like smaller roofs underneath the other roofs. So I actually had a really brilliant plan for this one. I wanted to turn this into a barn. The idea that this used to be a barn and then now it's like converted to like a home was really interesting to me. So I actually went with that and I was like kind of figuring out how to place the roof and I actually um, restarted uh, the recording session because it took forever because I was fiddling with the roof so much. I was like, I gotta, I gotta restart because I was also clicking between like uh, the game and like uh, Google Images to see how a barn roof actually looked like. So and I was like, okay, I gotta start over. Because uh, this, it took me a while before I finally got what I liked, and yeah, this is kind of the roof that I went for. And I found this awesome picture of like a new kind of style barn, and it was kind of this olive green. I was like, oh yes, let's pick that because um, I noticed that a lot of the older American barns and newer ones uh, tend to be red. And I thought, uh, so I'm probably going to use a lot of like reds and maybe some whites and I thought it would be cool to me uh, when my eye you know fell on the olive green one I was like oh, that's really awesome so I decided to go for that and uh, sadly I don't not I do not have like a big barn door because barns tend to have you know I think I think barns are kind of similar in every country they tend to have really big doors underneath and kind of a big window slash door on top for like the hay like sort of a hook to put it out up there uh, none of that in this lot because I just simply do not have those um, tools which is a shame but uh, oh well because <laughs> we've got to live with that uh, so I decided to go for uh, kind of white you know windows and doors kind of make a more clean and you know, maybe it's you know, like recently renovated because the interior is going to be a little bit more grungy actually. Kind of wetter woods, wood sliding, uh, sliding sidings and um, walls and stuff like that, uh, walls and floors. It's kind of fiddling with uh, like the pond and fences and because that white of the fence is not kind of the same white as like the uh, the build set and uh, you know kind of the edges of the the trims of the side of the wall so it's kind of no it has to perf perfectly match <sighs> so that was actually quite a quite a challenge so I have a bunch of nice fences because I actually really like this one it's kind of very uh, simple with a uh, it's kind of wooden sticks almost but it's I don't know it's a very strange um, fence because as soon as I deleted it um which you'll see soon and I try to place another fence it actually did something really really weird to everything I put behind it so I actually was like okay delete delete this fence it somehow messes something up as you can see here it doesn't for some reason it kind of deletes the, the uh, post in, in between the fences it's like okay Guess I'll just do this again and just go for this kind of uh, crossed fence, which is not like a perfect white, so that was kind of nice. And then, of course, I ran into a little problem with like matching fences because none of the fences really match, and I decided to go for the little heart fence because it's cute. So yeah, uh, the garden is going to be quite similar to the rest of the lot, so a lot of grass and kind of the planting more in front of the house. You know, kind of that little uh, one-tile strip of plants. 
just to keep it, uh, you know, keep it a little bit more uh, lighter and simpler. I will probably make, have a garden make, what? I will probably make like a house with a really fancy garden sometime, but right now I'm really enjoying kind of the simple planting like this, you know. I went kind of all out on, uh, well not really all out, but the uh, Sunday stream, which I streamed, um, forgot the lot's name, was 110 Old Farm Road? Yeah. It was the uh, the greenhouse, a giant greenhouse that's owned by like a one normal sim and like a, one normal sim and a plant sim with a baby plant sim, and I made a great Victorian greenhouse for, uh, out of it. It's not done yet, so I'm probably gonna continue that next weekend. Really excited about that one, really. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, theme for uh, the color theme for this uh, house is going to be kind of pinks and purples. And uh, yeah, sadly the flowers in the um, flower box of the windows are not recallable. Um, I'm pretty sure there are like separated window boxes and I'm very kind of, um, yeah, kind of wondering whether I should download them or try to find them because I remember they, there were some of those kind of uh, flower box window boxes so that might actually be, uh, be cool because they would have like different colors but maybe still maybe like the, the the box itself could still be like kind of repository to the windows themselves that would be actually kind of nice so so yeah for the garden I put down some lilies some irises some whatevers and uh bigger purple flowers and I was just looking for something bigger to put in like the corners and I'm just like oh, maybe kind of a shrub tree thingy and mm, I don't know I don't know I actually found these uh, little sort of trees I think they're by Cotty Vip and they were kind of perfect for what I uh, needed of course to put some dirt underneath there because I, I, uh, I was quite like uh, putting a you know you put your plants on like potting ground and stuff like that, so it just looks better. Look how pretty that looks, I really love that. I really like the color palette, white and purples and kind of this sort of, uh, you know, I always find it kind of fairy tale esque you know, I've never been someone who really enjoys the brighter orange and yellow and that kind of um, color scheme, so to speak. I've never been really good at, you know, putting those kind of things together. But I really enjoy white and purples and pinks and all that. So that's actually quite interesting that in the greenhouse I actually went for the color red and it's kind of a color that popped in the uh, in some of the flower uh, beds so that's actually uh, quite interesting. So again a little bit more around the house. I decided to go for a very straight gravel path because I was like well whatever I can you know I could use terrain paint to make a slightly less you know fancy path but I was like you know this is good enough this is very straight graffle path sorry I'm yawning it's been a uh, it's been one hell of a day today <laughs> at a work conference we oh god does anyone enjoy those okay let's not complain so yeah, that's uh, actually kind of the the trees and shrubs part. Then of course, just trying to put something around the the road or road, the uh, gravel. And I was like, eh, nah. Then of course the pond. And I'm trying to hold back on every pond, but I I just have to place the reed, man. And the cigars, they're so cool. Or and do you people call them cigars as well? Read cigars? We do. Of course, pool textures, so we got nice reflections. Which I, of course, always hide with a couple of rocks. 
which I'm actually trying to use as very little as possible in this neighborhood because I kind of abused them in, um, well, overused them in the uh, Blue Water Village. So I'm trying to keep that down, actually. Um, so I had to go for some of my favorite shrubs, the, uh, the Nengi 65 recolors of the um, Bougain Villa shrub. I really love them. It's like a set of five colors and it just looked great. Because I especially love the color of the leaves. It's a nice, nice shade of green that uh, really matches uh, my terrain default. So yay! <laughs> I just love it when things are like the same shade. Okay. I'll make their uh, garden slightly bigger. Who cares? <laughs> Try to do that sort of thing as little as possible. Sometimes you just gotta be bigger, man. Oh, man. Gosh, I'm just really tired. Anyway, a couple of uh, water lilies. Uh, I decided to go for the purple ones because, you know, the rest of the garden is purple and white and pink. But I felt those would match best. And I should try to find some other plants that I wanted to use. But, yeah, just none of them had... Kind of, none of them fit quite well. So I was kind of like, oh, uh, guess not. A lot of the greens are kind of perfectly matched, and I know gardens, the greens never perfectly match, but damn it, I like it when they are kind of the same warm green, or, you know. So it's kind of that, that was the exterior, and now this is going to be the part where I'm going to determine kind of the rest of the look of the entire building. Because I was kind of like, what am I going to do? Is this going to be a very modern barn? Or, you know, is this going to be kind of a reasonably renovated? And I accidentally selected this set of floors and actually found the one that I put down already. Kind of the well, slightly sort of grungy, not super grungy, but kind of the older, weathered, but still very light floor. And, you know, paired with the very light doors and windows I suddenly realized that I probably should go for a very sort of um, it has a style it has a name forgot it I forgot damn it anyway it's just gonna be a lot of light woods like floor wooden floor like light, light wooden um, walls all not very light, kind of brownish, but still kind of wetter, you know, to kind of suggest that these might have been like the inside, the actual walls and that were like kind of painted a lighter color, but still show kind of the weathered nature of the planks. So we can kind of create, uh, you know, Oh man, it really has a name. I don't remember. No, I can get Oh god. I'm so sorry. So rude. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, this is the color I actually went for because it matches the doors and windows perfectly. So yeah, the entire lot is just gonna be very light, kind of the kind of the not white. But very very light wood tones and I know it's gonna be very farmy and stuff like that but I'm very excited I especially love these tiles that I use in the kitchen and I'm um, gonna use some which tiles did I use in the bathroom oh yeah some black and white ones but I still kept the wood everywhere and um, Actually, I um, again made a second floor, which I actually want to use again. I thought that would be cool. Oh, I didn't go for the black and white. Or did I? No, I went for black and white. Anyway, because um, I kind of like the idea of, you know, um, the upper floor of the this kind of barn also being, like, reasonably um, 
kind of maybe convert to like a bedroom or something like that and um, I'm just in the meantime I'm just kind of fixing uh, plants that are bleeding through in the walls um, so yeah and I kind of just like those little uh, um, privacy windows because they don't exactly have the right shade and always kind of you know kind of want every, everything to be matchy so it's a uh, quite tricky. I actually went for a very modern window which are actually um, the new gear windows I think. Yeah, new gear. So yeah, and I actually decided to go for the small folding stairs to go, um, you know, to, to upstairs and I... Oh no, I didn't. God, I'm, I'm ruining it. I'm ru Stop, stop the take. I'm doing it again. No. I actually went for a small spiral stair. That was what I was doing. Yeah, true. And kind of, you know, I put it in the kitchen because, you know, the hallway again is very narrow and I, I would have to shuffle doors to make sure I could put a stair there. Wow, it's really, it's getting really bad. It's not like even late or anything, just really, really tired. So yeah, anyway, just putting my nice little stair down for the second floor, which is, uh, you know, not really sure what I'm gonna do with that, but uh, we'll have to see that in some of the upcoming videos, I guess. So yeah, I think this is uh, we're slowly near the end of this part, and I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, see you in the next one. I hope so, at least. Please, please. Bye.